Hi everybody, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlloryTutors.com and welcome to this video on gas equilibria and Kp. So this is just a very short video just looking at how we can calculate Kp and these are great mark builders in the exam. They actually take minutes to do uh, and they can get you uh, about two to three marks sometimes in the exam. Uh, you've just got to make sure that you obviously put your numbers in correctly, obviously get the right number and then you're able to calculate the uh, units correctly as well. So we're going to show you how to do both of them in this video and I've got this generic example here. So I've got two lots of A which is a gas reacting with B which is a gas and that will produce C plus D. Remember only gaseous uh, reactants and products should appear in your KC expression. Anything that's not gaseous uh, will have to be removed and you just include gas products. So but all these are gases and they're all measured in uh, kilopascals. So we're going to start by looking at how we can react, how we can work out, sorry, Kp. Um, and Kp is very similar to Kc in that the products are at the top and the reactants are at the bottom. So we're going to start with our products. Here's our products over here. And so this is going to be uh, effectively 182 for the uh, number of moles of um, C and then 182 for D as well. So we'll have the D product on the top and then we're going to divide that by uh, all our partial pressures for our reactants and you can see here that we've actually got two in front of the A that means we have to square this number here and um, so just like when you're working out KC and uh, whatever the number of moles is on the front you actually have to square it so this is going to be um, 324 squared and we're going to multiply that by 162 so obviously all these are going to be in brackets so if we put them into our calculator, um, we can work out the top row. And I recommend that you do this, actually, as you work out the uh, lines separately. Because sometimes you put them all in the calculator and the number can come out incorrectly. So we're going to put in the top number first, and that should get you uh, this number, 33124. And we're going to divide that by the total for this one here, which should come out to be 17006. Uh, one one two. Uh, if you put that in your calculator, then you should see if that's correct. So there's your numbers there. Uh, now, if we put this into our expression, uh, into our calculator, sorry. So this is Kp. Uh, our value of Kp should come out to be one point nine five. If we do it to two decimal places, one point nine five times by ten to the minus three. Okay, so that's nice and simple. So we're going to now look at the uh, units now. Just put over there. So we're going to look at the units of this because you get a mark for actually working out the units. And again, it's very similar to uh, KC. So we're going to write down the units for the top two lines and then the bottom one. So you can see here that we've got uh, one kilopascal there and one kilopascal there. So we're just going to put KPA there times by KPA. So that represents the two products that we've produced. And we're going to divide that by our reactants. Now, because we've got a squared number here because of the two moles of A, then we have to write the units twice. So it's Kpa times by Kpa, because the square number tells us that we have two lots of the kilopascals. Right? And then obviously we've got this one here, which is B, and that's just going to be kilopascals as well. So they're all kilopascals. Uh, and then all we have to do is then cancel out our units and work out what we've got left. So we're just going to take the red pen, cancel out, that one cancels out, and that one cancels out. And we're now left with just one unit left on the bottom line. And what we have to do is drag that up onto the top line. And when we do that, we effectively just put a minus one next to it because we're inverting the units. So um, the units for this, in this case, will be KPA to the minus one. And then you'd put that at the end of the number that you've just worked out there. And it is as simple as that. Nice and quick. Make sure your units are right. Make sure the answer is right. Check your working in your... Uh, you're working out when you're doing this uh, and you should be fine. Like I say, a great mark builder. That's it. Bye-bye.